Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will control solenoid and pilot lab. So, let's look at the example first. Example 27. When switch is turned on and then turned off, then solenoid and pilot lamp will be on. And then, when switch is turned on and then turned off, then solenoid and pilot lamp will be off and alarm will be on. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221 C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for this example. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode. And then I will zoom into it like this. So firstly I will insert normally open contact and then a coil. So, I will assign address to the normally open contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as switch. Yes. And then, I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as solenoid yes and then i will insert one more coil here and i will assign address to it as q 0.1 i will also add symbol to it as pilot lamp yes and then i will connect it like this or simply I will delete these and then I will insert a coil and I will assign address to it as M0 which is a memory bit and then I will use this memory bit to turn on the outputs that is solenoid and pilot lamp. So I will latch it here, I will insert one more normally open contact here. And I will assign address to it as M0. And then I will connect it like this. So I will add a new rank here. And then I will insert normally open contact and then two coils here. And then I will connect this coil like this. So, I will assign address to this normally open contact same as this that is M0 and then I will assign address to the coil as Q0.0 .0, which is a solenoid and then Q0.1 which is a pilot lamp. Then I will add a new rank here. So, I will insert normally close contact, normally open contact and then a coil. So I will assign address to the normally close contact as I 
0, 0.0, which is a switch. And then I will assign address to the coil as M1, which is a memory bit. And then I will assign address to this normally open contact as M0. And then I will latch M1 here. So I will insert one more normally open contact here. And then I will connect it like this. So, I will assign address to this contact as M1. And then I will add a new rung here. And I will insert normally open contacts. And then two coils. or simply I can also add only one coil in this rung. Then I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to this contact as I 0, 0.0 which is a switch. And then I will assign address to this contact as M1. And then I will assign address to the coil as M2, which is another memory bit. And then I will assign address to this contact same as this memory bit, that is M2. And then I will add a new rank here in which I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M2. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as alarm. Yes. And then I will latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as Q 0.2, which is an alarm. Then I will connect it like this. So. When switch is turned on and then turned off, solenoid and pilot lamp will be on. And then again, when switch is turned on and turned off, then solenoid and pilot lamp should be off. So, when switch 1 is again turned on and turned off, M2 will be on. And when M2 will be on, alarm will be on. So, to turn off solenoid and pilot lamp, we will use M2. So here I will insert a normally closed contact and I will assign address to it as M2. So I will exit full screen mode and I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning where I will launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So firstly, when I turn on switch and then turn off, solenoid and pilot lamp will be turned on. And then when I again turn switch on and then turn off, so the solenoid and pilot lamp still remains on. So we will exit full screen mode and we will go to commissioning and stop simulator. So here, memory bit M2 should be here to turn off M0. So I will delete this 
and I will insert normally close contact here and I will assign address to it as M2 and then I will exit full screen mode and then I will compile the program and then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on switch and then turn it off, solenoid and pilot lamp will be turned on. And then when I again turn it on and then turn it off, then solenoid and pilot lamp will be turned off and also alarm will be turned on it was all about this example thank you for watching